What's up everybody, Francis here, and today we're going to be talking about when should you end your D&D campaign. I think this is something that is highly overlooked, something that nobody talks about, because in today's D&D community, we are so hell-bent on having these long, extravagant campaigns. There are shows like Critical Role, Dungeons and Daddies, MCDM, High Rollers, all of these other campaigns where they stretch out months, years, and frankly, honestly, that is probably the top 2% of D&D campaigns. As someone who's been DMing for only three years or so, I've recognized that Dungeons and Dragons does not have a proper end. Frankly, most of the campaigns that I have ever played in, and I hope you can relate to this too, most of them have ended abruptly. And it's not bad, it's not the end of the world, but as a dungeon master, I want some sort of closure. As a player, I want to know what happens to my character in events after the campaign. As a result, I started going from more sandbox, open world, to more railroady esque games and frankly i know this this video isn't supposed to be about railroad versus the sandbox matthew colville did a fantastic video about that you should probably check that out but really if you're a starting dungeon master and you don't even know how long this group of friends will be together why not just play a campaign that lasts a month or two i know some pre-made modules like i don't know minds of fandelver are spanning over the course of a few months, assuming you play every single week. And frankly, that's not bad at all. The way I'm recommending this to any dungeon master out there is to plan backwards from your adventure. So let's say you are a dungeon master and you have a really sick villain that you want to use. And they, let's say that they are the archduke of a city from far away or a nobleman and they are trying to achieve their goals by performing actions. Villains have underlings, so they don't do anything by themselves, but the underlings, they will do the handiwork of the big bad evil guy, and those clues and tidbits that the henchmen leave behind will eventually be what the players find. And frankly, that should be your first adventure. And from there, I recommend just seeing how it goes. Maybe you have a player or two that don't like their classes. Maybe they just don't really function well as a party. Um, maybe you just want a different environment. But that is the way I recommend it. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. A little bit of a shorter end. A really big question though, when should you end your campaign? Frankly, it is as long as you're willing to put into it. However, in my opinion, there should be some sort of time limit of when things are expected to end. If you enjoyed this, please leave me a like down below and I will see you in the next video. Peace.